rain formation and water cycle. Water from seas, oceans, rivers, lakes evaporates and changes into water vapor due to heat supplied by sunlight. The invisible water vapor rises up into the atmosphere and becomes cooler. When this water vapor reaches the higher levels, it condenses due to contact with cool air and forms small drops of water droplets. These tiny droplets remain floating in the air at higher levels of the atmosphere and appear as clouds. The clouds formed on the surface of the different water bodies move from one place to another in the direction of winds. As more clouds come together, they become laden with water vapor. Winds help to circulate the clouds all across the earth. The cool breeze coming along with air makes the clouds cooler. This leads to water droplets present in the cloud to condense and form large water drops. Further, cooling of clouds increases the size of the water drops. Gradually, the clouds become heavy and descend towards the earth. The color of the clouds changes from white to gray. As the size of the water drops increases further, it becomes difficult for the cloud to hold them. The water drops begin to fall. This is called rain. Rains occur normally from June to September. During rainy season, the clouds move along with the winds blowing from the western direction and are called southwest monsoons. During the months of November and December, rains occur due to the movements of the clouds in the direction of winds blowing from eastern side and are called northeast monsoon. Water moves in a continuous cycle in the earth. Water from rainfall runs down into streams. The streams join the rivers, which in turn flows down to seas and oceans. Some of this rainwater seeps into the ground. During summer, large quantity of water evaporates from water bodies and converts into water vapor. This goes up into the air to form clouds. These clouds condense to bring rain. The circulation of water into water vapor by evaporation, water vapor to clouds and clouds to rain by condensation is known as water cycle. The cycle of condensation and evaporation takes place continuously in nature.